Hey, what's going on guys? Beats here, and welcome back to episode 13 of our Pokemon Emerald playthrough. Now, where we left off is we finally made it to past Victory Road to the Elite Four. And this episode I plan on taking them down. So last episode I said I was going to do some off-screen, you know, leveling up. And I'm going to show you the levels I got my Pokemon up to. So we got my child up to 61, Fork 62, 420, Blaziken up to 62, Blue Balls is only at 60. Hardest to 61, we got Cumrag, all the way up to 66. And the reason I did that is because I wanted to increase its speed as a ghost type, but its attack is really increased, which is actually really good. I think that affects uh, Shadow Ball for some reason. I don't know why, but it affects, I'm guessing it, because it does a shitload of damage. Uh, not a lot of things have changed, except for um, Blue Balls. He did learn Hyper Beam, and I got rid of Water Pulse for it, because it's just a more powerful move. So, for this episode, I... Uh, with the items. Got a full heal. I got a bunch of Hyper Potions, and... In case I'm going to need them, 23 revives. So let's go take on the Elite Four, and hopefully we can take them out. And I did do training on them, so... I pretty much know what's, like, the Pokemon, except for, like, the last... Actually, this is the only guy I really know who he's going to throw up. So, if I am correct, I forgot what he starts off with. Shit, 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 Okay, Mighty Yama, that's what it was. So, we got my child going out. At a health disadvantage, I probably should have healed before I walked in here. Hey, we're going to hit a Earthquake. I should do some moderate damage. Alright, so you sand attack, which will drop my accuracy, and I'm hoping I can get a dragon breath up. Yep, there we go, so that should be a KO. Yep, my Yana goes down, no problem. Okay, so shift tree, which is a relief. Weak to fire, so we are going to send out 420 Blaziken, who should one shot him with a blaze kick, as long as it connects. Alright, so these guys are all resistant to Psychic, so I can't use Psychic. Oh, I hit Fire Blast. Oh, it still hits, so it should be a one-shot. So I can't use Forks in this, unfortunately. Uh, well, it's not a big deal, though. We can keep him in the back. Okay, so Absol is normal, so I can keep Fire out and it would do moderate damage. Alright, let's hit him with a Blaze Kick. See, so see, this is moderate damage. Now, if I know this trainer correctly, he's gonna use a Hyper Potion. Or oh, he's got a Berry instead. Oh, I was wrong. Citrus Berry. Okay, so it probably like a little. Oh, uh, damn it. If you would hit that, it would have been all. Oh, Aerialist. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Ow, 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 ow. Survived. Okay, he survived it. Hit this. There we go. Okay, the Absol's gonna go down. And now I'm pretty sure he's gonna send out the, uh, can the cactus thingy or the crowd out. So we're sending out the crowd out, so we are going to switch out. Mm, I want to throw you out, but I don't want to risk you dying. I'll throw you out, though, since you have a level cap. Really? I don't know what's good. I, oh, yeah, fighting. I should have kept Blaze. I could have kept Blaze because I forgot he was a fighting move. But it's actually going to work out for us because Comrade is actually going to level up. So we're going to hit it with a Shadow Ball, which for some reason does a shitload of damage against anything. Like, it's not that effective. It took half the self away. Surf's gonna hurt a little bit, but I should be able to take it, like nothing. Alright, we're gonna throw a Will-O-Wisp on it, and it missed, unfortunately. Yeah, Surf's like the only move this thing can really use that would actually damage me. Oh, shit! Critical. Alright, let's switch out. I need to throw some out just to take the hit. As a matter of fact, we'll keep him out because I can just revive him for the next fight. You know, that's not a big deal. Alright, let's try a Shadow Ball again. If it crits, that should be a KO. Oh, okay, so it didn't crit. So he's gonna use Surf again, which is gonna unfortunately take out... Comrag! No! But it's okay, because it's my fault. I should've kept Lazykin in. I for completely forgot he, learns, he uh, learned Sky Uppercut, which is super effective on this crowd out. So they're gonna use Hyper Potion, it looks like, but it doesn't matter, because I should be able to KO it with a uh, Sky Uppercut, as long as it hits. If it doesn't hit, 420's fucked. Boom, okay, so we got it. Yep, that should be a KO. 
And then I'll just keep 420 out because the next character is weak to fire as well. Capture. And there we go, that's Sydney basically KO'd all this Pokemon Dunzo. No, let's hit him with a blaze kick. Alright, goodbye. And boom shakalaka, Sydney goes Dunzo. Win four grand. Well, listen to what Luz has to say. You've got what it takes to go far. Now go on to the next room and enjoy your next battle. See, he's pretty, he's pretty, and he's not salty. Alright, so we'll go to the bag. We're gonna hit a revive. Let's heal up, we're gonna heal up all our Pokemon really quick. So we'll get the revive on Cumrag, and let's go up to our Hyper Potions. Get him up to full, because we're gonna need him definitely for next fight. So next fight's all Ghost type. And for some reason, Ghost is super effective on Ghost, which is, like, I don't know, it's weird. Alright, so we're gonna back away from the bag, go to Pokemon. And we're gonna switch you for you. Now, Forks, for some reason, would be good in this fight. Because for some reason, Psychic does a lot against Ghost, but doesn't do, like, a bunch. I don't know. We're just gonna stay, stick it easier and go with Ghost. See, she has Ghost-type Pokemon, so this should be an easy fight. Shadow Ball for the win. Shadow Ball will one-shot basically all these Pokemon. Only because of the level cap and the damage it does, so Dust Tops at 48 versus a level 66, about to be a level 67. And I hit first. Uh, unless they use Protect. I'll rephrase that. I hit first unless they use Protect. So Shadow Ball is not gonna hit. Yeah, but he didn't use it this time, so this is gonna be a one-shot. Don't ask me how Ghost is super effective on Ghost, I really don't know. But the Dust Flops goes down no problem. And Rail of 67. Okay, so she's gonna throw out her very own Banette. But it's not as, it's not gonna be as fast as mine just because of the level cap, so I'm gonna hit first again and get the super effective KO on this Banette. And then she should she should uh, be sending out a second one. And I do have the EXP share on my child, just because I want him to rank up. Because he's going to be the heavy hitter for the dragon fight. Because the dragon fight, I know super effective against dragon is other dragon types. So him and uh, Air Agron both have dragon moves, which will be really good for that fight. Alright. So like I said, that Banette goes down. She's sending out a fourth Dusclops. And then after that, I believe it's a Sableye or something like that. So we're going to Shadow Ball her again. And like I said, it's going to super effective KO everything just because of the level cap and the amount of damage it does. Plus the Ghost super effective. Yep, a Sableye. And this should crit it, crit, or not crit kill it, super effective kill it as well. Shadow Ball for the win. Oh, it's not super effective, but it should still KO it. Yeah, no issues. And there we go. Leaf 4 Phoebe goes down no issue either. There's a definite bond between you and your Pokemon too. I didn't recognize it, so it's only natural that I lost. Yep, I'd like to see how far your bond will carry you. Go ahead and move on to the next room. So the next room is Ice-type Pokemon, which is really not that great because I don't have a lot of things that are, you know, great against Ice slash Water because they do know some Water moves. Fire's decent against Ice. So I'm hoping Blaziken will be decent in this fight. But we're gonna, since I have a Banette at the uh, level 7 with a high level cap, I'm just gonna see how far I can ca uh, carry it. Maybe I can carry it through this fight. So Celio at level 50. Alright, we're gonna throw a burn on it. Alright, so we got the burn on. It's gonna initiate hail, so I'm gonna get buffed by hail, which takes a little bit of health away at the time. Right, and it's hurt by burn, so it's actually gonna even out. And we're gonna throw a shadow ball at it. We're gonna have to use an ether on uh, Cumrag though, unless he dies, then I'll just have to revive him. And it one shots it, basically, even with the burn on it. She's sending out a glate. Uh, there's I forgot what move it knows, but it could super effective kill me. Hail continues to fall, so without any thinking. We are just going to throw a Shadow Ball on it and see how much it does. It 
brings it down to all oh, crunch. That's what it was. Dark moves. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Uh, okay, I did tank it though, so that's good news. Oh, but it's gonna lower my special defense. I don't have a high special defense too, which sucks. Okay, I was able to tank that crunch though. Uh, a nightshade. Oh, I forgot. They do a full restore every freaking uh when they get down to red. That's my fault, because if I would use the Shadow Ball, I probably could have hit. Oh, I wouldn't have hit first. Alright, it's gonna do 50 damage because of the level it is. Well, that's pretty. That's actually a lot. I'm hoping if he crunches again, which would suck, I'll just have to do a revive. But I should be able to hit Shadow Ball first. Yep, which will take it out. Alright, so we're gonna keep this out, and we're gonna actually uh, heal it. So Comrade gained 1000 XP and 1000 split. So she's sending out a second Glate, which knows Crunch and can super effective KO me. We are going to... Okay, so the hell finally stopped. We are going to go to the bag and throw a Hyper Potion on it. Keep all my Pokemon nice and healed up. Yeah, I should be ready definitely for the last fight. Ice Beam shouldn't do that much damage. Oh, it did more damage than I thought it was going to do. Okay, so I'm going to throw a Shadow Ball on it. My hope is it crits and kills it in one. Oh, brings it down to like no health. He's gonna end up using a full restore on it. Or she's gonna be using a full restore on it. So I guess we should just heal up. Wow, because I already know they're going to. So we're just going, we want to keep Cumrag all healed up. Ready to go. Ooh, surprise, surprise. They did not use ice, they used ice beam instead. I could have easily gotten the hit off. Oh, shit. Oh, they critical hit. Oh, God, that's just luck. All right, I'm going to bring Forks out. Forks should hit first. Due to its speed, Forks should be able to hit first. Hail continues to fall. All right, and we'll just hit the Psychic really quick. Yep, I hit first. That's the end of the... All right, we'll just have to revive... Come right again. Forks gains some decent XP and level 62 for my child. Nice. Uh, no, we won't have to switch out from now. Because the next, after this, is the wall ring, which is her heaviest hitter. Forks is pelted by her. Okay. Hit the psychic. I'm hoping it one shots. It's probably not going to, though. I do have calm mind, though, so I probably, I probably could have gotten away with that. Oh, you could tank this, Forks. Come on, tank it. There you go. Okay, hit with recoil. Okay, they're definitely going to use a potion then. So we're just going to have to recover. Yep, I called it. I knew they were. Full restore, which will give the Celio back to full health. We're going to recover. After this fight, I'm going to take a short little break before I do the last final person. This is going to be a short episode of me just taking out the Elite Four. But I do want to take a quick little break. Just before I do him, because I want to kind of like, you know, strategy out. Okay, so this is good because it's going to use hail, but it's only in the yellow, so it shouldn't heal. If you get him down to red, they usually full restore you. Yep, so lucky for me, they're not going to. It's only in the yellow. The psychic will take it out. And now we have just the wall room to deal with. Alright, here it comes. Yep, yeah, that's her heaviest hitter because of the the level out. Whoops, level output and the uh, amount of damage it can do based off of its uh, strength. So we're gonna hopefully yep hit a psychic on it. This should do some moderate damage. Brings it into the yellow body slam. Oh, if you tank this, it's game over. Unfortunately, yeah, it was a critical hit. Unfortunately, so. All right. Um. I mean, they, she could hit a Surf and basically destroy me, but I don't think it's going to happen. All right, we are going to actually hit with a Sky Uppercut, though. Okay, so they're gonna, they have a Barry. A Sky Uppercut, I think, is super effective on the Walrin. I'm positive it is. So we're going to hit that. Yep, there we go. That goes down, and that is the third Elite Four leader down. Basically taking them out like no issues. So Garcia goes down, and we only have three down, one to go, which is the Dragon Master. Advance to the next room, and there, confirm your truly fearsome side of the Pokemon League. So I'm going to take a quick little break, and I'll see you guys in a few seconds. 
All right, guys, we are back. And before we run into the next room, you know, we're doing a really good job, but we do need to heal up some of our allies. So we go in with a full six. We got to heal everyone up. Make sure everyone's ready to go against the Drake Master because he is actually the, sh well, it's not like a big, big thing. Everyone knows him. He's the fourth, he's the fourth one. He's obviously going to be the strongest. And the only thing that's super effective on Dragon, I'm pretty sure, is other Dragon and Flying. And only two of my Pokemon know Dragon moves, which will be both uh, Agron and Cumber, or not Cumber, Agron and Flygon, or my child. So we're actually going to throw Agron up in front, since I believe he is the weakest, not believe, he is the weakest one. And we'll alternate between him and Flygon as we can. So here we go. I am the last of the Pokemon Elite Four, Drake and Dragon Master. In their Drake the Dragon Master. In their natural state, Pokemon are wild living things. They are free. At times they hinder us. At times they help us. For us to battle with Pokemon as partners, do you know what it takes? Do you know what is needed? If you don't, you and you will never prevail over me. Oh, I know what is needed. I know I have to use Dragon against you because that's what's going to be super effective. Only Pump Q. So Shellgon at level 52 versus a level 61 hardest Agron. So let's hit it with a drag. Okay, so they use protect. So the Dragon Claw won't make contact with this thing. The good thing about hardest is he's not dragon, so dragon won't be super effective against it, which is awesome. The thing about Flygon is Flygon is part dragon, me and Dragon will be. Rock Tomb, nope, not a good thing to do. Not very effective. Oh, but you did drop my speed. Oh, that sucks. Protect. Okay, so Protect always beats you out, apparently. So, which sucks ass. Because now I'm just spamming the Dragon Claw. Oh, it failed. So, Dragon Claw should KO this thing. And if I'm correct, it'll send out... Or the Captain Drake will send out Flygon. So, 801. 801. Nope, Kingdra. So, we do need to switch out. So, we are going to switch out. So, Kingdra is weak to electricity and other dragon due to it being a dragon water. Which is Gyarados, but Gyarados doesn't really know any dragon moves, which sucks asshole. So we'll hit a dragon breath, which should be super effective. Alright, so I did decent damage. I'm, I was hoping to get a paralysis off. Oh, Surf's gonna hurt. Oh, that was actually pretty easy. Dragon Breath just takes it out like nothing. Okay, so I believe they're going to send Flygon out now. Yep, so we are going to have to switch back to our Agron to take out the Flygon. Or we could have switched to a Water type for it being ground. I'm pretty sure. I'm, I think it was ground or rock, one of them. Okay, well, you sent out Flygon. Flygon's a beast, though. I don't even care. Oh, I hit takedown and accident. Oh, shit, I forgot about Earthquake. Yeah, I think Hardest is gone. It's a super effective attack. Yeah, Hardest is gone. Oh no, he survived! And he used takedown, which is the wrong move. No! Okay, we are going to have to... I unfortunately think we're going to have to let him get taken out. Just so we don't pull out our Flygon to get hit with a, a dragon attack. So unfortunately, I had to let Hardest go. If we need to, we can just revive him back in. But it's actually going to help us out, because now we can send out my Flygon and be able to hit the Dragon Breath, which should KO this Flygon. Yep, there we go. So it actually worked out in favor for us. So we only have two left. I believe he has a Salamence, though. So he's got an Altaria, which I'm not going to switch out. Dragon. So I believe after that he's got a Salamence, which is his heaviest hitter, definitely, by far. Alright, so Dragon Breath's doing super effective, but it's not a heavy Dragon. Oh, so you know Dragon Breath, too. Oh, unfortunately, it crits us. Crap, crap, crap. This is bad. Okay, good. We hit the Dragon Breath. This should KO it, and then I could get a heal off before the uh, Salamence can actually affect me. So, yep, it's a Salamence. I really want a Salamence, but I, could, I couldn't find one in here. Salamence is just beast. And he's got that, which is what I was kind of afraid of, because it's going to cut down my super effective attacks. Suck. I should switch out to a different Pokemon after... I should have switched out, because then I could have, like, 
Rock Slide missed, unfortunately. That gives me time to hit a Dragon Breath, which should do some decent damage on the Saturnance. Still did pretty good damage. Oh, and I got the Paralysis off. I think it's game over. Yep, it's game over, guys. Use the berry. Is it a citrus berry? Yeah, so he's gonna gain enough health. I think he'll have just enough health to survive this Dragon Breath, but due to the Paralysis, I think we are uh, won this fight. Yep, he's got just a sliver of health left. Ooh, Dragon Claw's gonna hurt. But I should be able to hank, hunker down and take it. Oh, uh, yeah, unless they get the critical hit. Alright. Alright, alright, I feel utterly stupid now. Not a big deal, though. We are gonna bring Forks out to finish the fight, because Forks is still my favorite, you know, in the party. <laughs> Okay, so they use a full restore. I completely forgot about that. Not a big deal, though. We do got the paralysis on it, though. And we're gonna hit the psychic. Oh, I forgot. Full restore takes the off-psychic. Oh, shit. Not a great spot for us. Oh, but we can hit the double psychic. That's way more than enough to take out the Salamance. And GG, the Elite Four goes down. Really, with not that much of, you know... Superb, it should be said. $11,000 we have taken from this guy. You deserve every credit for coming this far as a trainer of Pokemon. You do seem to know what is needed. Yes, what a trainer needs is a virtuous heart. Pokemons touch the good hearts of trainers and learn good from wrong. They touch the good hearts of trainers and grow strong. Go, go onwards, the champion is waiting. Okay, so, before we attack the champion, we need to heal and revive some people. So we got two Pokemon we need to bring back to, from, the, from faint. So, hardest... And we gotta use another one on our child, my little baby. Back up to the top, and we are going to use a Hyper Potion. Heal all up to full, and yep, one more. And I believe the champion is either gonna be Mei or Wally. I'm pretty sure it's Mei, though. So let's go see who the champion is. Oh, it's a long-ass walk. Oh, it's this. I have no clue. It's Wallace. Oh, crap. Super the incident is cool. The city of Superb were putting an end to that crisis all by yourself. Oops. It wouldn't be fair to say that alone ended the crisis. You overcame the difficult situation by working as well as your Pokemon. We trainers raised Pokemon, giving them items by teaching them new moves and techniques for battle. We also have learned many things from Pokemon, and this is where your achievements are put to the test against what others like you have achieved. Now, who can most elegantly dance with their Pokemon in Hoenn? Show me right here, right and now. So, actually I was wrong, it's Wallace who is the Pokemon champion. So it's a full party versus a full party. A level 57 Whale Lord? Oh, this is bad news bears for me because I threw out my Steel type. Oh, this is bad. Um. <sighs> Alright, let's see how good Flygon, my child, will do against this Whale Lord. Alright, I should, should, no, 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 come on, come on, I was like, you should be able to tank that. Let's see how much Hyper Beam will do. The thing about this, I'll have to recharge, so he's probably gonna get killed, unless he can kill this wall, Whale Lord. But this Whale Lord is the Snorlax of freaking Gen 3. He can just tank hits. Super effective Ice type move. Okay. So unfortunately, we're my child goes down pretty quickly in the fight. Uh, Forks, I'll have to bring him in, and hopefully the Psychic will do enough damage to take out this Whale Lord. I'm pretty much praying that Psychic will do enough. And it is freaking Forks. Came in clutch there. Nice job, Forks. Tenacruel, which is poison water. Uh, I should be able to keep Forks out. I am going to throw a Future Sight on it first before I do anything. So we'll throw that up. Alright, Sludge Bomb. Oh, that's going to hurt. Uh, don't get poisoned. Don't get... No, no, no. Come on. Okay. Uh, we're going to have to recover from that, definitely. Ooh, Sludge Bomb is such a hefty attack. Hydro Prump? Okay, I'm probably dead. Just because Hydro Prump is a huge- Oh, I actually tanked it. Good job, Forks. You are fucking tanking damage right now. So I can get another recover off. 
Sludge bomb. Okay, okay, come on, you can tank this. As long as it doesn't crit, you should be able. To, you should be okay. Oh, future side, come on. How much damage are you gonna do? Oh, that did nothing. We're gonna have to switch. Definitely. Um, I'm trying to think what'll be good against it. I'm gonna have to try with Ghost. I honestly don't know what'll be good against Poison. Oh, come on, you can take it. Come on, don't crit, don't crit, don't crit, don't crit, don't crit, don't crit, don't crit. It critted though, but it didn't do enough damage. Okay, we're gonna throw. Oh, no PP left in the move! Oh, throw. Oh, come on! And he's faster. Oh, and he poisoned me. Okay, that sucks. We'll throw a Will of Wisp on it. And throw a burn on it. Alright. Hurt by burn, and then we're gonna get hurt by poison. But it's not that bad because we do, and I'm almost positive we have a full heal. We have a couple of them actually, so we'll throw a full heal on you. Oh, I think Cumbrag's going down. Seven health! Alright, we gotta get the hyper potion on it. Uh, we're, he's got us on the run right now with his tentacruel. Hundred and ninety-five HP was restored. Oh, don't don't crit like kill me. Don't crit kill me again. Okay, so it didn't crit. Okay. And if I hit with a nightshade, that should be more than enough damage to take it out. Oh, okay. As long as you tank the hydro pump, we'll be in good shape. Okay, good. So nightshade should do enough damage to take it out. And there we go, the tentacruel goes down. Oh, that was a hefty freaking fight. Okay, this is, uh, Grass. Shit, why'd I hit? No, fuck me. Alright, let's throw a burn on it. Oh, of course it missed. Shit, 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 shit. Not great. Uh, Surf's probably gonna kill me. Yep. It actually will work out for us, because I can actually get 420 out without taking damage. I should have had him out in the beginning, though, and not risked that. I don't know why I hit no, though. So, we're gonna hit a blaze kick. Should be a super effective. Oh, it's not super effective. It's grass though. Oh, it's a critical hit though. We got we got lucky there. Definitely they're gonna heal. I can already see it. So we are going to attempt a sky uppercut. Let's see how much damage that'll do. It's water grass is what I thought. So I wonder how much this is gonna do. But well, it did pretty decent damage. And if I get the slash off, yep. Oh, come on, if you didn't miss. Oh, come on, no, no. I know it's gonna be super effective, but you should be able to, come on, tank it, tank it, tank it, tank it, tank it, tank it, I got my figure. Oh, yes, come on, hit the slash. That should be a KO on the Ludicolo. And then I can get a Hyper Potion on uh, Blaziken, 420 Blaziken, who grows to level 63. Wish Cash. Uh, we're gonna hit no now. Oh, of course it's water. You're fucking, you're fucking with me right now. Alright, we're gonna have to Hyper Potion it up. Alright, Surf. Aw, oh, damn. This is gonna hurt again. 86. Alright, we're gonna have to actually switch out. Alright, I'm gonna have to pull blue balls out just so the water attacks don't super effective me. Plus, he knows Hyper Beam, which should be pretty decent against that. Uh, these types. I'm not thinking that's gonna do shitloads. Like, yeah, this he should tank it, no problem. So, yep, not a lot of damage. All right, we are gonna have to risk the hyper beam, and it lands. So please, I'm hoping it crits or just does a shitload more damage to kill it. All right, all right, it's not bad damage. It's got it down to pretty. It's, it's got it down to yellow, which is where I want it because then it can't. It won't uh, activate the uh, full heal, so I gotta recharge. Surf again should be able to tank it, and then if I hit a hydro pump. It should do enough damage, even though it's not effective, to take out this wish cash. It should do enough damage to take it out. Yep, it goes down. So now we have a 4-2 to two lead on Wallace, but we have two Pokemon that are about to die. And Garado he's sending out a Gyarados, so... Unfortunately, I'm about to hit no, and I'm about to get a revive on one of my Dragon types. Flygon, definitely. Because he's water, and I can't risk sending out a my uh, Agron. So let us go to the bag. 
go down to our revives and revive Flygon. And then we're gonna have to full heal him as well. Yep, I think Blue Balls is going down. Oh, he survives. That's awesome. Uh, let's see if I can get Hyper Beam off really quick. Yes, there we go. That's actually gonna give us a great advantage. Okay, so we got him down to half. Both of our Gyaradoses are gonna recharge. And he's gonna use Hyper Beam again. Yep, that's good news for us, actually, because then he'll recharge. I can get two Dragon. I'm pretty sure, as long as I outspeed it, I won't even have to heal my child. I can get two Dragon Rushes. Or if I only need one, I think. Due to my level cap. So Dragon Breath should hopefully KO. Oh, I didn't do it. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Come on, Hyper Beam. Boom! There you go. Freaking god, then you're a great freaking Flygon. The Faux Gyarados goes down. We are now four, or, yeah, four to one. And to level 63, nice job, my child. Um, I don't know what the hell this is, so we're not gonna switch. Oh, that looks so fucking pretty! I think that might be legendary. Oh no, it's just Ice type. Oh, come on, I'm dead again. You were revived, and now you're, you'll be missed. Okay, so what are you, is what I'm trying to think of. You know ice, which I think is super effective on steel, I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's see how much- Oh, fuck me. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Hardest, if you tank this, I swear on my life you'll be the greatest thing in the world. You are fucking a beast. Hit the iron tap. There we go, let's see how much this does. <laughs> no damage. Alright, you're basically going down, so I'm gonna have to do something. We're gonna have to hit a revive. I want to bring back Cumrag, because I don't know how what this thing is, and I don't know how much damage it's gonna do. So, unfortunately, we're gonna lose two Pokémon, and basically take a risk. That I don't know how well it's gonna work. So, Forks, I apologize, I'm gonna have to send you out. And we're going to throw a Future Sight down really quick. And then, unfortunately, you should be taken out. Yep, the Surf will kill you, unfortunately. So we're going to be wasting some lives here, unfortunately, because I do want to get the full heal on the Banette. Alright, so let's go and... get the Piper Potion up on our Banette. Highest level up, and hopefully the Shadow Ball plus the Future Sight combo would be enough to take out this freaking beast of a Pokemon, apparently. Alright, come on. I know my storage is filling up, but we're going to finish this fight. Alright, so the Future Sight should kick in at the same time. Oh, there's no PP left for the move. Mmm. Hmm. I'm gonna risk something. I'm gonna have to risk it. Oh, he hits first. Shit. So he's gonna poison me. But I think, I think if I'm correct, the curse plus the future sight, and if I can get a revive up on a Pokemon just to get him up and alive, will be more than enough to take this fight home. So affected by the curse and future sight should kick in. Come on, I need future sight to kick in. Yep, there we go. Is it gonna be enough though? No, it's not, so what I'll do is we're going to have to use another revive and bring back, um, I'll bring you back. Just to get Pokemon up. <sighs> Full restore, shit. But it's a good thing because we got the curse afflicted on it, which is awesome. So now basically until death of this com of Cumrag. Actually, we don't even have to do that. I got a great idea. Where is it? We're gonna use it. Where the hell did I put it? Oh no, I think I used it. Oh, I already used it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Surf. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna kill me. I'm hoping the curse is enough. Okay, so we're gonna send you out, 
and then we're gonna have to revive something else because I can't risk it right now. Uh, scroll down to... See, we're playing it super safe right now. And we're just gonna revive Kumrag again. Get him up and about again. Surf is going to KO 420. And if I play my cards right, I will send out Kumrag and the curse should just rape his health until death. Doesn't matter, your berry isn't gonna save you. Because the curse does more and more damage each time. And once again, we're gonna have to revive something else just to keep the battle livid. So we'll revive my child this time. Surf. Um, hopefully I could tank it. If I could tank it, that'd be a great. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's so beast. Alright, alright, I got an idea. Let's hit, let's hit first. Oh, they used another full restore. Wallace, come on, buddy. Wallace, you're not making this fight easy on me, Holmes. Alright, Nightshade. Let's do that. And Afflicted by the Curse should bring it back down to low yellow. Ice Beam will unfortunately take out my bed nets. Alrighty, alrighty. This is like a little stressful because I'm basically just reviving everything like over and over again. How much will the curse do? I don't can't risk the speed, so once again, we're just gonna review it, revive Cumrag. So anytime it gets down to low red, it full restores, which is bad news because basically we need to be able to hit it before it hits us. All right, this is gonna be a little bit risky. Hit the hyper beam, please. There we go. Now how much damage will that do? There we go. There we go, Flygon coming in for the clutch. Oh my God, and Champion Wallace goes down. I have to take a quick break. I'll see you guys in a few seconds. All right, guys, we are back. We just defeated the Elite Four and Champion Wallace, but basically it was easy up to Wallace. I had to kind of do like a revive death strategy, but it was pretty, that wasn't that too like difficult, just the last Pokemon. So we're gonna read his dialogue. The Pokemon you sent out in battle. At times they danced like a spring breeze and at times they struck like lightning. It was with light, yet sure-footed elegance uh, I didn't read it. Even I felt bedazzled by your masterful performance. You now stand at the glorious peak of the Pokemon League, and I'll proclaim you the new hidden Hoenn region. What the hell? Nay. Here's some advice before you challenge a champion. Huh? What, what, what? Beats, could it be that it's already over? Hey, it's Birch. See? What did I tell you, May? Didn't I tell you you don't need to worry about Beats? Beats, you finally done it. When I heard that you defeated your own father at the Cuddlebird Gym, I thought perhaps you had a chance. But do you think you actually became become the champion? Ah, yes. What became your Pokedex? Here, let me see. Hmm. So you've got you've caught 100. You've seen 146, and you've caught for 33. Well, this could be more quantity, but it's looking more like a Pokedex now. Anyways, congratulations. Now go proudly to the final room. Beats. No, let me rephrase that properly. The new champion. Come with me. I'm sorry, but from here on, only those trainers who have become champions may enter. You'll have to wait outside with Professor Birch. Aww. I'm just joking. It's okay. That's the rule. Beats. Honestly, congratulations. Bye, May. Bitch. This room. This is where we keep records of Pokemon that prevailed through harsh battles. This is where the League champions are honored. Ooh, and he's gonna put my Pokemon on the back of my Pokemon. Come here. Let's record your ta name as a trainer who triumphed over the Pokemon League and the names of partners who battled with you. It's gonna go on the back of my Pokecod now. Saving the game, of course, of course. Agron! Forks! 420 blaze a can! Blue balls! Come rag! 
and the daddy of them all, my child! These Pokemon prevailed with me. These are, this is the final six. Those are the six that I would love on my team, and they were on my team, and they were beast as fuck. But you can't forget about Machoke. Machoke came along for the ride. And boom, credit scene's done. So we basically defeated the storyline of this game. So it's not the end. You guys may think of the harsh piano music playing, you know. It's not the end of the playthrough, because now we gotta go catch some damn legendaries. But it is the end of this short episode, unfortunately. So I hope you all did enjoy this episode of me ter basically triumphing over the forces of the Pokemon League and the champion himself. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel, because next on our list is to catch all the legendaries available in this generation. So anyways, guys, I'm Beats. I was your host for this epic Pokemon-filled quality gameplay content, and I will see you all in the next episode. Peace.